customer overview which is basically a hypothetical customer that we have taken for the demo purposes only so horizon hope <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that yeah so horizon hope is a non profit based out of south africa and they are into you know providing essential resources such as food shelter education to the uh, you know to combat poverty or to the poverty ridden people Uh, their mission is to you know include affordable housing free education free food and job opportunities to empower individuals so i will quickly jump into the demo piece of it so can we have the demo all right yeah we are in so so uh, first thing we i would be showing is the program so you know uh, first thing i would be showing the is the program so we have the food distribution as a program for us uh, so this is a particular program that they were running which was catering to the need of deli- uh, you know giving food to the poverty ridden people into the south africa region itself only they were providing food at you know uh, schools uh, at fresh markets uh, they have their mo- pantry as well and then they were also giving you know meal service at certain cafes so in this we have food distribution as you can see the program then we have various benefits so these are the benefits that they were getting so benefits are the activities that they were doing so these are all the activities like you know uh, food schools uh, to f- food to school distribution food to market distribution cafe <coughs> service mobile pantry service so they were having all of these uh, kind of benefits out of it then we had you know certain participation so we can see the participations who are all you know participations or uh, participator into this particular you know program which are getting actually benefited from it who are actually you know utilizing the you know the f- uh, the f- the meals that they are providing so we have claus and adam williams for the f- uh, sake of this demo so they are getting the you know benefits out of it as the participations so these benefits that i am talking about are you know provided via sessions so there is a session where it happens so like for example for our sake the benefit is like food at downtown bus station so this is a particular cafe service type of benefit which is happening so if i click on it this tells us the information where this particular you know event is happening so like this is happening at this particular place uh, at from what time to what time and then it will also include the attendance as well attendance when i say it basically in the information who actually benefited from it and what was the you know uh, benefit that they got so we can you know definitely schedule a, a benefit from here so if i quickly go into the pantry distribution uh, i can you know i have a i have a benefit where we would be you know distributing food through brick and mortar pantry stores the unit of measure is kilogram so basically the number the quantity that we would be giving away is going to be into the kilogram section so if i click on new benefit schedule i am giving a sample name so benefit quantity so it's asking with the quantity so it's kg so i am saying 10 kg each i would be we would be distributing in this particular program i am will be defining when it will be start getting started so it would be starting from 30th what would be the start time so i will be marking it as 3 pm the end time i will be marking as 7 pm uh, let's say i will be running it on a weekly basis every saturday i would be running for the next 30 saturdays i can define that or i can give a date as well up till when it would be running so once created it will you know simply create those records now the ui that you are viewing is basically you know omni studio the omni script so again this is basically the capability that we get from salesforce industry so if i click on save this many benefits would be created and we would be able to view them from over here uh, i will quickly go to the food distribution and you would be able to see a uh, demo distribution so these kind of records have been created this is how you know you can run your program you can you know manage them and you can actually see the participation as well and when you actually run it you can log the attendance who actually came over there and how you track them it need not to be you know part, uh, participants you can run and you can donate it to anonymous as well uh, in over here in our participation as well as we can see anonymous pantry distribution anonymous fresh market distribution so we can utilize that as well So this is about the program management. I will now move on to the case management piece. So in case management, I will uh, simply jump on to a live case to give you better understanding of how it works. So I will I am going into the Klaus uh, Schindler case. 
So in this particular case, a case has been created where the nutrition counseling and food delivery is the service that they were facing. And uh, if I simply go to the care team, I can see like uh, Cloud Shinder is the participant. Uh, participant. Uh, so basically, Cloud is stored as a contact for us from the Cloud's household. And Coswell Community Center referred them to us. Like this particular individual is in the need of you know nutrition counseling and food delivery. So. In the services section, we can see a care plan. So I was talking about like we can create a dedicated care plan. So a care plan has been already created. If I come when I come into the care plan, I can see all the things that are listed, uh, you know, that are actually needful or that are actually uh, beneficial for us for this particular individual. So like the top goal is to improve immediate access to food. So if I come over here, it would give us better <coughs> readability. Oh, no, not over here, but yeah, over here. Yeah, it would give us the improve. Uh, just a second. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, it would give us to improve uh, improve immediate access to food. Next, we have apply for government food assistance. So these kind of are the goals. So the goals can be you know top goals. Then we have intermediate goals. So intermediate goals are basically the goals that you need to achieve to gain to a top goal. So we have visit a food pantry, complete the uh, complete the enrollment. Identify the nearby pantry. So these are the various, you know, uh, intermediate goals. Once we do that, we would be able to get immediate access. So these are the goals defined for this particular individual for this particular case. Next, we have apply for government food. So like you know, gather food requirements and complete government food uh, requirements. The benefits that we get are again, you know, things that they can avail, such as nutrition counseling, pantry distribution, introduction to healthy cooking, cafeteria service. Basically, uh, this was a service where they can actually go and take a meal. Directly, then we have mobile pantry distribution. So these are the benefits that they can avail, and these are the goals that they can, you know, utilize to get better, you know, food service to them. So in the sis section, we can see the benefits which are assigned. So they haven't actually, you know, received any of the benefits. So again, so it's for the demo purpose. So that's why we are not seeing any data, but we can definitely utilize all of that. <coughs> From over here, we can you know uh, directly update the tasks that are assigned. You know, provide information about HNMI. <coughs> so once a care plan is created, a certain task are also created which gets assigned, and uh, we can definitely you know configure them, make changes to them. Now, if I come to the case, and uh, I will show you how you know a care plan can be created. So this is a case which I had pre -cre already created for the sake of this particular demo. When I came to the case, come into the case, and I click on Add Care Plan. So over here, we can, you know, give information. I can give the start date. Uh, just tomorrow. I will see this active. I will choose the acute food insecurity crisis. So there are uh, multiple templates that we can uh, create. Now the templates are just template itself only. We can make modifications as per our needs. It's not. It need not to be you know set in stone like these are the only benefits that they would be getting. These are the only goals that they would be assigned to. We can choose them. How? I will quickly show you in the next slide. Not the next slide, but the next view. Yeah. So over here we can see you know like the goals that they are part of. I can simply remove them. The benefits I can you know take away. I can assign them if I want to add more benefits. I can you know simply create more benefits from over here. I cannot create but add the benefits from over here itself only. So this is how the care plan can be created. Now the care plan, as I said earlier, is completely dynamic. It need not to be static. It need not to be set in stone. We can give different type of benefits. We can set different type of goals for individuals based on their needs. So in this scenario, it's a uh, food uh, you know food delivery for uh, malnutrition. So we can uh, do that. In some other scenario for a wildlife uh, non-profit, it could be the scenario where they would be running this kind of you know, uh, case management where they would be getting injured animals and or they would be you know, running a care plan for them. So they would be adding certain different different things for that. So we can definitely utilize that in that particular uh, order. Next up, I will be going to the fundraising. So fundraising strategy, uh, as I said, it's the core. Or I would not the core that the one of the very important things that a nonprofit would be doing. So they can run their campaigns and they can get the view like what are the uh, running campaigns, what are the tasks, what are the you know recently viewed opportunities as well. So I will quickly jump into a campaign. Uh, so feeding Atlanta is a campaign uh, for the demo purposes. 
in this campaign we can see you know like what is the expected revenue that we have how many opportunities we have won how many opportunities we got so all of this information we can see then we have uh, various outreach uh, we have various outreach source codes as well like feed uh, email uh, mail messaging website flyers so we can definitely utilize all of them then we can see the information like how many gifts uh, we have received gifts are basically donations uh, donor count how many donor we have gathered what was the average uh, donor uh, value uh, so we can view all of this information so let me give you like how the gift transactions would look like so clause household i will open this so clause household uh, clause has given us a donation of $1000 so we can view that so this is a donation and it is it get stored in gift transactions let's say cloud had made a pledge so that would be stored in gift commitment so i would go to this particular gift commitment and this gift commitment states that cloud household has committed to 25000 us dollars total uh, you know amount that they would be giving to this particular program to this particular uh, ngo and we can see the total paid amount and when it got started and what's uh, the expected end date and then over here we can see the gift transaction history as well like you know uh, they gave $1000 on this particular date like 19th march they gave $1000 27th march today which is today they gave $1000 so we can give a view all of that information from over here we can uh, manage our gift schedules as well gift default uh, designation i will be talking about designation in just a minute so we would be utilizing that and we can configure that again i will coming back to uh, gift transactions so for this transaction which cynthia gave if i open it up cynthia gave 30 dollars in this 30 dollars we can define the designations as well so designation defines like this 30 dollars out of this 30 dollars 15 dollars needs to be used for general fund 7 dollar and 50 cents needs to be used for community outreach and 7 dollars and 50 cents needs to be used for advocacy and policy work so these kind of you know specific level details we can manage as well and we can you know uh, inform our customers as well, or not customer inform our donors as well and we can definitely you know give them the right customer experience and we also have the right clarity like which money how much money we are getting for a particular cause so we would be able to utilize that now i will show you some of the things that we get from uh, you know salesforce industries uh, into the non profit cloud mix so if i go into the account section and if i open uh, this is a demo company that i have created uber eats company so over here we can see the view that you may have saw uh, earlier in our financial services cloud demo so this business milestone uh, definitely we get you know from the uh, uh, salesforce industries financial services cloud module then we have the gifts where we can see the gifts that they have uh, given so like this is a complete holistic view as you we were talking about earlier in our you know stakeholder management <coughs> uh, and uh, one more discussion we were doing where we were talking about like how a unified view would be provided so this is a unified view where we can see the information about the gift commitments the gift transactions and into the relationships we can see the this is the actionable relationship center we can see all the relationships that are available like this is account this is contact so we can configure it as per our needs and we would be able to utilize that so this is the you know <coughs> this is the capability that we get out of the box when we use salesforce non profit cloud just one more thing so if i go over here so there is something called as soft credit as well so what is a soft credit uh, so soft credit is basically a credit that a individual gets for getting somebody else to make the donation so basically if they are the referrer so they get soft credit for that so which helps us identify who is the uh, you know donor who has helped us get more donors into our uh, community into this particular cause so this was the you know uh, basically the demo that i wanted to showcase and the capabilities that i wanted to showcase